Hi there, in this video I'm back at my hide to take some photographs of kingfishers. Now it's a long while since I've filmed a video down here at my hide, mainly because the Kingfisher has not been about for ages, but there's been sightings again, and I've spent three days down here and got some photographs of the Kingfisher, so I'll show you those at the end of the video. But also what I wanna do is I wanna show you around the hide if you've not seen it before, and also just talk to you about why I enjoy spending time down here and how it helps me just to stay calm and be with nature. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you why I really enjoy my photography. So the hide itself is made from a corrugated metal arch. Um, I have covered it in black plastic just to make sure that there's no water gets in because inside the deck is made of plywood and I don't want that to get damp and wet. I want to try and keep it as waterproof as I can and it's actually been in this state now for a good two years. When I first built the hide on the side of this pond, it was at an angle because the banks slope in to the pond. But what I did find is in the winter, when the level of the pond rises, it um, flooded the hide and made it unusable and it was just um, not very comfortable. So what I did is I built the hide up onto stilts. So now inside there's that deck that you saw just that is level but it also stays out of the water if the water level rises. When I'm not using the hide, there's a cover that comes down over the front to keep the water out and make it nice and waterproof. And this has done a really good job of keeping two winters worth of weather out of the hide um, and it stayed in really good condition. Then I just tie it down at the front um, to stop it flapping about in the wind. What I've also done is I've put a strip of metal here going out into the pond, which is really handy for when I need to get to the perches, maybe to change them or do any maintenance on them. Um, and I know I can get out into the pond without fearing sinking into the bottom. Now what I did do, just to remember where that was, is there's a couple of bits of wood sticking up on either side so I can tell where it comes out. Now I sort of know where it is, but it does just help me. So I've edged my way all the way to the end of the metal, and at the moment I'm only in about six inches of water, but the pond itself at this point would be probably about three or four feet deep with a lot of mud on the bottom. So I'd really struggle to get out this far um, to change a purchase, but um, I can do it now with complete peace of mind. So here's the hide, and then in front of the hide, there's lots of different perches um, to give the kingfisher opportunity to land on them. And when it's so close to the hide, it will then um, give me really good shots of the kingfisher with lots of detail. Now, I'm not sure how well you'll see them, but what I've also done is I've pushed some twigs into the side of the pond down here. There's one, just here at an angle and then there's a couple more just there and one that's overgrown. So that's a little guided tour of the hide itself. What we'll do now is we'll go and spend some time inside the hide. This is the inside of the hide which is really comfortable. When I'm sat in the chair that I've got here um, I'm just at the right height to see through the camera um, so I can watch what's going on on the pond without uh, too much um, discomfort. Then in front of the camera there's several different types of mesh. I've got um, some camouflage here and some more camouflage on the outside and should I want to I can lower that again even further just to make myself even more invisible. So as I said in the introduction, this video has taken three days to film and it goes to show how much patience is involved in taking wildlife photography. Um, one of the days I spent down here in the hide, um, I was here for two hours and I saw no sign of the kingfisher. Now, there are some um, photographs of the kingfisher that I got on the other days, so you will see those at the end of the video. 
but it just highlights that you can be in the right place with the right setup and still not see anything. It's certainly down to a little bit of luck as well as having all the conditions correct. And yet despite um, all of that waiting, I still really enjoy sitting in the hide. Um, even on the day when I was sat here for two hours and I didn't actually see anything, it's a, a really relaxing um, pastime. Sometimes I just sit and watch um, the pond and wait for any wildlife to appear. And other times I've got my um, phone with me so I can listen to some music or um, catch up on some podcasts. And it's just a great way to remove yourself from any troubles of the world. I'm very much a fan of mindfulness. And the mindfulness idea is just basically removing yourself from everything around you and putting yourself in the moment. When you're here, sat by the side of a pond, you can just concentrate on this one moment and forget about all other worries that might be going on. And it's just a way of really helping your mind to get back on a level where it's not fizzing about with all of the um, day-to-day worries that go with life. And you can just focus on just one job and it really is very very therapeutic while i've been sat down here in the hide i have experienced quite a few different types of weather we've had mainly overcast days but the sun's come out a little bit uh, but we've also had quite a few rain showers and it's great sat in the hide in a rain shower because it's made of this uh, corrugated metal and so when it's pattering on the top it's uh, really very calming but looking out over the water and seeing um, the rain splash on the top of the pond surface does actually create quite interesting photographs in their own right. So I'll show you um, some shots that I've taken of the rain and pictures that I've taken of the rain bouncing up off the top of the pond. So I've seen a couple of young moorhen on the pond, so I've taken a couple of shots of those. Um, they're not quite as um, spectacular as when they get into their full adult plumage. They're slightly more grey, um, but even so, it's still nice to see. have been quite a few mallard on the pond as well. Um, now at the moment they don't seem to have any young, but in the past I have seen um, the mallards with ducklings um, on the pond. And one of the shots that I got, um, I quite like because it was raining at the time. So around one of the ducks, there's lots of water splashing on the top of the pond. Now I would imagine the main reason that you're here is to see photographs of the Kingfisher. Um, now it turned up on two of the days that I've been down here in the hide, um, but unfortunately it didn't land on the perches that are closest to the um, hide. Um, those would have given even better photographs, but I'm still fairly happy with the shots that I got. Um, it landed on one of the perches down the side of the pond, so it's slightly farther away, but the shots are still 
quite spectacular. One of the days um, it was raining so I've got some shots of the Kingfisher with some rain spots coming down either side of it and the other day um, I got it in some fine conditions and on both occasions I did also get some video um, of the Kingfisher. I always find seeing a Kingfisher to be really magical. It is one of my favourite birds to watch and photograph. Um, there's something about it when you see it with its bright colours that just makes it so attractive and really exciting. I do still get a real thrill when I see one, even though I've seen one now down here lots and lots of times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to come down to the hide and if I do get any better shots, um, ideally of the Kingfisher on the front perches, then what I'll do is I'll make another video um, to um, show you the better shots that I get. But I'm still really happy with what I've got so far and I'll leave you with some of my favourites. Well, I've really enjoyed making that video and I really do get a kick out of going and sitting in the hide. I just love sitting, chilling, um, being with nature, but it's an even bigger bonus when the kingfisher turns up as well. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing those photographs and video. Now I do hope you've enjoyed that video and if you have, let me know down below in the comments and if over to my Instagram or Vero account and leave me your comments there. And you can also see lots of my photographs. Now if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future your content like this then you can leave via the gift shop that's at teespring there i've got a range of merchandise and offer so head off over there because a purchase is very much appreciated but you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel you can do that simply by clicking the like subscribe and the bell notifications because it really helps me out and make sure that you don't miss out on any future content watch out for next week's video that goes live on sunday in the meantime go and check out this video just up here but all that's left now is to say stay safe and I'll see you soon.